Put your hands together because it is our favorite time of the week. Butt pillow time. Hey Greens, I hope you are staying indoors and safe. I know you've heard it multiple times, but please take care of yourselves and follow whatever rules your district has. Here in Canada, we're pretty much in lockdown. A lot of schools, theaters, gyms, a lot of them are pretty closed, so. So I figured today would be a good day to just hang out and unbox some of your boxes. I know I am very late. For those of you who've said things, probably sometime in September, October, I'm getting there. I think we finally reached December. Okay. So, the first box we have is from Mirror Gem. I am super excited because I'm always excited to open your things because thank you so much. By the way, during this whole process of, you know, what's happening, please refrain from sending anything, stay indoors, don't lick envelopes to send them out, just don't <laughs> send anything until things clear out. And not to mention I do have a huge backlog of packages to open, so I'd really love to get through these so that when new packages come in after all of these things have settled, then I can get to you. So don't worry about sending anything. Everything is delayed anyways at this point. All right, oh, oh my God, wait, wait. So when I open the package, this is what I'm seeing. It says, I love, love Vicky to Jackie. Is that an I? I thought it says I. <laughs> I can't get it out though. How do you get this out? Oh, there it is. Yes. So I've been waiting for this for the longest time. This artist decided to draw me in the Persona style, which is a video game for those of you, again, if you're quarantined and you have a PlayStation 4, I highly encourage you to get the Persona 5. It is such an amazing JRPG, and I was drawn in that style. How awesome is this? They also promised me some pins. So thank you so much. I can't wait. This is going to be framed, by the way. Is it conceited if you frame yourself? But this is amazing. I love your art. This is absolutely epic. I am always so touched at the fact that you greens take the time to make things for me. It really is precious to me. So I'm gonna put this over here. When things get better, I'm gonna go to Ikea and pick up some stuff. Okay, we have pins. <gasps> Oh my god, is that Jacksepticeye? I believe. So we have different styles of Persona 5. I think this is Jack. Yes, I think this is Antiseptikai. So Jacksepticeye's evil side. These are really cool. I'm not sure who this is. I'm not quite sure. Let me know if you know who it is. We have more Jack, I believe. Or is this Felix? Is this PewDiePie? I think it's PewDiePie. I wish there was a description. Why didn't you leave me a note? I would have loved to hear from you. No! <laughs> Okay, just, just to be clear, I'll leave all the links and the information if you grains are interested. Oh, there he is, there's Felix. Here we have Felix Pin, PewDiePie. I will leave all the information if you're looking for custom pins or anything like that, they do have a business. I believe this is an anime called Jojo. For those of you who are into Jojo, let me know. Should I really get into it or is it just really memes? We have more Jacksepticeye. We have the little, why did I forget the eyeball name? And another one. I believe a lot of these are Jack. I'm not sure who this one is. I really need to brush up on this. But, oh, we have just a kind of little tiny if you're interested here. Otherwise, I will list it in the description box below. Mirror Gym pins. I really would love to make some pins. Would you grains buy them? That's a question. Are you into pins? Or are you more into stickers? Let me know. I will put an, a voting in the iCard section. Click on it. Are you more into stickers? Are you more into pins? Are you more into t-shirts? Are you more into plushies? Let me know because I would love to make sure that whatever I put out is not something I think is good, but something that you would enjoy as well. Cause that's more important, I think. So thank you so much again, Vicky. I, I'm going to email you. Keep an eye on your inbox. The next box we have just says from Amazon. Let's have a chat. Look at me. You grains are starting to give me my own store here. You're sending me stuff from Amazon and they are really good things. I feel like you're really much better at shopping than I am because you find the one star products. I don't know how we can't sift through one star products here. Only one and up. But I would really like to find one and under or zero if that's possible because that's not possible unless they don't have any ratings. But you know what I mean. But yeah, so far the craft kits that you grains send me are either really good or it's almost like you look for the salt for some reason. Ooh, a sticker machine? 
What the heck? No way. Super stick. Oh, wait, wait for that. It's not just a sticker machine. It is a super sticker machine. And it says two in one sticker and lamination. That's really useful. And that is not sarcasm. That's it's so sarcastic. Okay, I hope there's a note in here. This one is just not a description. And a note, Jackie, I hope the sticker craft kit doesn't cause too much salt to pour out. You wouldn't want to get dehydrated from Sarah. Thank you so much, Sarah. I love, make sure, please, if you do decide to send something through Amazon, because it is way cheaper to send through Amazon than having to ship through your own country. So that is definitely a clever way to do it. Please, please make sure that you do put a note. I love hearing from you. So thank you so much. I am so excited to try this out. That could be a fun, fun live stream idea. So thank you. <laughs> And I have a letter, by the way, I open them, but I don't read them because it's just easier for me to open stuff before the video. And Marcus and Den is this a wedding invitation? Holy moly, that is absolutely beautiful. Oh, you greens look fantastic. That is absolutely wonderful. Okay, let, let me read the letter. All right, so this letter is from Danielle, who had extra <laughs> wedding invitations that they just wanted to send to people who they feel like had an impact on their lives. Thank you so much for making me part of this. And their wedding is in June, June 20th. I really hope things don't get delayed, fingers crossed. By the way, send me more pictures. I know you have my email, you have my social media. I'd love to see pictures of your weddings. I think I'm a suck, I'm a huge suck. If I see weddings, I cry. If I see Disney movies, I cry. If I see someone crying, I cry. <laughs> I don't know why, I, I, I guess I'm a huge empath. Is that the word? I cry easy. Just don't, don't give me feels because I will catch them. And Danielle says, I love seeing your videos with Sika. You two are so cute and fun together. Thank you so much. Sika really is a wild card. I love her, but she's a wild card. <laughs> I hope 2020 brings good things for both of you and your family. I hope 2020 is good for all of us and that we can all get through this safe. It's always better to be cautious than sorry. That's what I think. But don't, don't fall for the extra, you know, you don't need toilet paper. You'll be fine. This next letter, oh, oh, so many things fell out, is from Kate from Anaheim, California. I know Anaheim. Oh no, it's a Christmas card. Oh no. See, I told you, Grains, I'm catching up. I'm getting there. We're only three months behind. And this card is from Kate, whose business is called Three Whiskers Creative. Thank you so much, Kate, for the well wishes and also the positive vibes for wish and dreams accomplishing. I really hope the same for you, Grains, as well. All right, now on to another huge box. I know exactly who this box is from. It is from Kernet. And Kernet has been sending me boxes for the last about year, year and a half probably. And Kernet, also Poundkey, is spoiling me with craft kits constantly. So thank you so much again. I will leave Kernet's information down below. Oh my god, oh, what is that? Let's find the note first. I have the note. All right, so the note is really funny. Apparently there's snacks in there for me to lure Sika out, you know, to do craft kits with. So I'm gonna be like, hey Sika. <laughs> she really does love her snacks. And these tackies are really good. If you have had tackies, let me know if you like them in the comment section below. I kind of like the ones that are lemony, but again, I feel like eating maybe three or maybe four or five not three or four, four or five of them is, is enough to make your tongue kind of, you know, like salt and vinegar chips. Do you ever get that when you're eating salt and vinegar chips that your tongue, it's not that it's spicy. It's just kind of like your tongue gets scratchy. Is that a thing? Am I just weird? I'm probably just weird. <laughs> okay, so it seems like most of these things are from the dollar store, <gasps> which is so exciting. Let me put things aside. All right, so the first thing we have are sets of crochet kits. Why must you do this to me? The last time I did crochet, I tried the Disney version and that got me really salty. The instructions were way too advanced than anyone would have ever figured out because I'm just not gonna get into it. If you wanna watch it, this is the thumbnail. It's the Disney kit. Wow, it, it made me so salty, so salty. 
but we do have a panda one and we can technically already see the materials on the inside it seems pretty straightforward but it all depends on the explanation of the pattern you can see i'm skeptical if i ever did crochet i would probably enjoy this one here this tri it's a triceratops right it says dinosaur but i'm pretty sure it's a triceratops because i love me some triceratops and we can see the yarn in the back as well. But a huge part of me, if you look closely at this over here, the pattern does not seem that simple. I feel like I would need to just crochet maybe just a flat surface before I get into plushies, but I would probably get salty anyways. And then, oh, we have shrinkable art. You can use with colored pencils. Interesting, really, really? I'm intrigued. I thought you were only supposed to use markers for these things, but I am very, very intrigued. I shall, I shall experiment with these and we'll find out. And then we have cute stationery. I, I have been looking for my Pokemon ones and I couldn't find them anywhere for my Japanese class. So thank you so much. These came at the right time because I can't find where my Pokemon ones are. Where did I put them? I have no clue. Oh, speaking of Pokemon, we have some Pokemon <laughs> cards. You know, I have played Yu-Gi-Oh! I played Magic the Gathering. Hearthstone! That's the one I was looking for. I've played quite a few card games, and yet I have never learned to play it. Would be fun to learn, so I'm still hoarding these cards in hopes that I will play it. And this is so weird and I am so ready to check it out. I have no idea what this is, but it looks like you can customize 3D figures and give them like this pattern. So I'm really curious if we can only use the items that are included in there or can I put, let's say, one of my sculptures and can it get these kind of patterns? Because this looks awesome. I don't know how it's going to work. So this is going to be super interesting to test out. Will the salt be strong? I don't know. So thank you so much to everyone who took the time to send me something. Expect more vlogs so that we can hang out a little bit more together because I know sometimes when you're trying to watch things and there's nothing to watch, we got each other at least. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.